needed the piston that we've chosen for the higher dome volume to get the compression ratio that we want for this application, but it won't work with the rod that came in this engine. That's why we're switching to the Eagle. Here is a quick look how we came up with a calculation of what we needed to use. What we are referring to is block height. The center line of the crankshaft to where the cylinder head bolts on is called block height. In this case, it is 10.200 inches. The piston's compression distance plus the center to center length of the connecting rod plus half the stroke, which is called crank arm, should equal the block height. We tailor the compression distance and rod length with our crankshaft to get that, so theoretically our piston is flat with the deck at TDC. In our case, we have a stroke of 4.750 inches. Divide that by two, and we have our crank arm, which is 2.375 inches. Add the connecting rod center to center distance, which is 6.700 inches, as well as the 1.120 inches piston compression distance, and we have a total length of 10.195 inches. If our engine's deck height is truly 10.200 inches, and we subtract the 10.195, we can determine that our piston is five thousandths of an inch in the hole. Of course, we have to physically measure the deck height to see if that's correct. The first step is to put a rod and piston assembly together for mock-up. After removing the current piston and rod combination, we'll drop our mock-up setup into place. Then we'll run the piston up to top dead center, checking it with a dial indicator. Then we rock the piston back and forth, finding the highest and lowest point in the bore at TDC. The average of those two measurements tells us how far the piston is in the hole. In our case, it's eight and a half thousandths. This is one of the measurements that we do use to calculate final compression ratio for the combination. And this number also affects other things in the engine. But for right now, we have this number and we can get the rest of the rods and pistons put together.